All right, and welcome to Arch Enemy. And this is where we're going to concentrate on arcs and really take your animation to the next level. Because when you're polishing your animation after you've done all your keys and breakdowns and made sure the timing's right, it's a good idea to look for the arcs and make sure that things move in nice, uh, you know, correct looking arcs. Um, because really in animation, everything moves in arcs. Everything that uh, is a limb or, um, or rotates around a certain point, which is basically everything uh, in, a, in a human body. Um, so it's very important to, to just uh, go back and check for that at the end. Um, I'm just going to go over in Blender here. And um, I'm going to you know, uh, give you an example of a little animation of a guy... Maybe it's a dance, the guy who's just kind of uh, uh, doing a funny movement here. Uh, but the point is that we can really make this look a whole lot nicer uh, if we just uh, fix the arcs here. So as he's going up in his dance position, uh, you'll see that the foot is just goes from A to B uh, in a very straight manner. And if you turn on the animation curves, you can see that the foot uh, moves in a completely straight line. It doesn't uh, have an arc that that feels very unnatural to the eye. So if you move it out here in the middle and ma make it sort of uh, arc uh, slightly, uh, that'll sell the shot and uh, make it feel a lot more natural by just doing that. I'm also just uh, tipping down the toe a little bit, so there's a little bit of overlapping action going on. Um, a little bit of drag in the foot there. It just makes it look a little nicer. And again, I'm just making sure that the arc is, is as good as it can possibly be, and that makes it look a whole lot better. Now, of course, on uh, more uh, complex uh, situations, you might also you know, have arcs that are there, but that are not as smooth as they should uh, preferably be. And so, you know, turning on animation curves uh, is a great way to visualize the arcs in your scene and to be able to go back and fix them and smooth them out. Here I'm also making the pelvis sort of go down as he goes up in his uh, dance position. I'm also ensuring that the uh, the arms, you know, feel you know as natural as they should do. For example, here you can see already with the uh, with the hand, uh, we have an arc, but it's not really very uh, smooth. So we'd like to smooth that out a little bit. Now, altering or uh, studying the motion of the pelvis bone can be, uh, you know, a huge help in fixing your animation because the pelvis uh, makes everything else move around. So by just changing the uh, movement of the pelvis, you can change the way the entire character moves around um, in your animation. So I'm just adjusting the uh, pelvis a little bit.
getting it to go up and follow that nice uh, round arc there and just adjusting it along the way. And as you can see already, you know, it feels a lot more natural. When playing it back, of course, you often you notice things that you might want to change. So uh, here with the arcs, you know, we might want to just make it even, you know, rounder as he goes, you know, down and then up. Um, and there you go. So as you can see, just adjusting the arcs makes a huge difference to how you perceive the final animation, and it really is a great. Uh, tool for uh, polishing things off at the end and making sure that your animation is as good as it can possibly be. I'll just show you the original here. As you can see, um, it doesn't have the same amount of life or polish at all. All right, that's all. You can see more about manipulating arcs in the final episode, The Big Picture. Thanks.